Okay, not all of us have killed our wife and daughter by being tricked by the god Ares. This is kind of hard to relate to, but we can all relate to the feeling of absolute rage. Now, whether we're right or wrong, it's unhealthy, exhausting, and only pushes the people we love further away. We want to be a better person than who we were yesterday, not acting like a rage-filled Kratos. We want a redemption arc in our lives, a story of how we can change our fate. Kratos' change for the sake of his son Atreus changed their fate, and in that, they saved the world. Looking at a guy like Kratos from the history of the God of War franchise, if anyone's got a right to be ticked forever, it's this guy. We can all carry scars of our failures, but Kratos carries the literal ashes of his family on his skin. Yeah. From boundless ambitions for conquest and destruction, Kratos turned to become a man, teaching his son to open his heart to the sufferings of others. Kratos had truly changed. So the latest two God of War games were a real treat for me over these last few years. I put in about 65 hours into Ragnarok and got the Baron Wolf trophy for collecting all the trophies in the game. Loser. The cutscenes were beautiful and the gameplay tremendous. But the most important part to me when it comes to movies and games or anything pop culture related is the story. Story is king. If you get the story right, you can forgive a lot of other small technical issues. Heck, even some big ones if it's that good. And being a dad that's been making the priority of his life to guide his sons, this game was right up my alley. I fell for Kratos. I know what it's like to have a checkered past, to have made mistakes that you still feel guilty for. I understand the importance of finding redemption in the life of your sons and find hope that your offspring will do better. I played this game and saw changes in Kratos from who he was in the early games, where all he cared about was that the glory of Sparta would be known throughout the world from killing the gods that destroyed his life and even taking revenge on his own father, Zeus. He left his homeland to find solace in the land of Vikings, finding a wife and having a son, a second chance at life and redemption with a new family. In God of War Ragnarok, we see a different side of Kratos. He's no longer fueled by rage, but instead driven by a desire to protect his family and do what's right. Kratos has learned to control his anger. In the previous God of War games, Kratos was known for a short fuse and his tendency to lash out. However, in aging and becoming the sole care provider to a son that lost his mother, we see a more mature, controlled Kratos. He's learned to channel his anger and use it as a weapon rather than allowing it to consume him. And man, do I love it when that rage meter is full in the game. This change in Kratos becomes more real in the way that he handles difficult situations, sure, but more so in the way that he interacts with Atreus. Even when Atreus loses control and attacks him. I mean, nobody can hurt you like your kids, right? Which is something they all do while they're testing their boundaries. Sons need to see how far they can go. They need to see the limits so they can learn how far they can take it and make sure that they stay within the bounds. Oh man, some of the things that Atreus did would have drove me nuts. Kratos also learned to be more patient. When in the past, it was in his rush to burn down the temple of Athena that he killed his family. Talk about impulse issues. Yet, we see Kratos taking the time to teach Atreus valuable lessons, guiding him through difficult situations like the death of his mother and learning to keep his head in the midst of chaos and conflict. This newfound patience allowed Kratos to be more effective and a supportive father, softening him to also be patient with others as well. And I hope you'll be patient before we get to the last point and allow me to ask you to consider hitting that sub button. And if you like what this channel offers, click that like button as well. Thanks. But his greatest character growing trait came as he developed a stronger bond with Atreus. Throughout the God of War series, Kratos had always struggled with connecting with others and form meaningful relationships, mainly because they kept dying. However, in here, we see Kratos and Atreus develop this strong bond as they travel together, battle together, and even argue with one another. Kratos becomes more open and vulnerable with Atreus and takes the time to get to know him and understand his needs. He needed Atreus to be better, better than him, better than his grandfather Zeus, better than anyone. This is the one reason I feel this game was such a success. Character development and story. Kratos always strived to be the best at everything. That's what made him unstoppable, the god of war. And even with the role of the father, he strove to be the best as well. In the end, Kratos became dad of the year in my opinion. 
God of War Ragnarok is a triumphant conclusion to Kratos' North mythology series, and it's one that left me feeling drawn to be a better father myself. Kratos wasn't just the God of War, and much to the chagrin of many people online, but by the end of the game, he became the God of Hugs.